So, you're looking at a beautiful four-year-old little boy named Jordan. Aww. Next to me is his mother, Shay. Welcome Shay to the show. <laughs> now, when Shay was 16 years old, she met another teen named Eric in a group home. Shay says that she remembers the day she was intimate with Eric and the moment she conceived her son. And after moving to a home for pregnant teens, Shay says she and Eric lost touch. And recently, Shay was contacted by a woman sitting next to her. Her name is Mary Bell. Now, Mary Bell is Eric's mother. And Mary Bell is positive that Eric is Jordan's that father. Is his baby. But that is Eric his baby. denies it. So, that Shay, how positive baby. are you? That he's I've waited father. four years. He's never seen my son, not even a phone call. Let me show you how yeah, is my baby so daddy. Hello. Hello. Yeah. What did you just do on my floor? The same thing that got me pregnant with my son. That's, <laughs> That's what you did with him? Yes, the yes. same night. <laughs> Wait a second. Here, Maribel, your son was denying this child, yes. and then all of a sudden, you see a picture of this little boy. Oh, my God. My heart and what melted. do you say? That is his son. He can't deny it. That's his son. Yeah. not my son. Yeah. Mind your business. Until yesterday, when y'all came to the show, you'd never seen her in your life. Ever. Never. We spoke on the phone. That's about it. Mar, he told me that she died. She was deceased. That she was dead. <laughs> she reached out to me, and I was like, wow, you know, um, he told me you was dead. And even people vouched, you know, for his story. And then you and didn't I know anything about her until when? Two months ago when she called me like, hey, I'm his grandmother. <laughs> Okay, but Maribel, you you didn't know about this little boy. You've yeah. never seen this little no, boy. No, I never seen the you little boy. You saw it. You saw, I guess, on Facebook or something, right? But I I got the call from my daughter because she called Shalanda, and I'm telling him so that is your son. You, you need to step up to the so plate. You had never. You <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Not the father. So you, Maribel, you hadn't not you hadn't met kid. little Jordan until yesterday. When I grabbed that boy, he ran to me. I ran to he him. Embraced her we embraced each other. My we son. have been inseparable all night. And my in son bed, doesn't train, even do that everything. to anybody. He doesn't really go to strangers like At that. All. And for the fact that he just ran up to her like that, like he already <laughs> knew her and was That's familiar with her, that was That's I fell in love right made. away. Meanwhile, he's never seen this boy. He's never, oh, seen never. This boy. I haven't seen it's Eric since I got pregnant. Responsibility of this child and do what's I've tried right. To have <laughs> do what's right. This boy. So, do you remember now. the night you got pregnant? He told me his mom died. He was crying, had snot coming out his nose, tears. <laughs> we had sex behind an abandoned warehouse on the sidewalk as the train was going by. My son is in love with Thomas and Friends. He loves Thomas. All the trains in the world. So it's just fate. It was Shane fate all along. Me that this now, boy is yours. meanwhile, is. you haven't seen Eric in how long? Four years. Four years. When did you finally find out, or is it through Maribel that you no, found out? No, actually, he had, has a girlfriend, uh -huh. and she posted on Facebook about them starting a family. Right. So I posted and was like, you need to start with the one that you had first. Hey. Like, you got him. Start with him. Like, meet him first. Then I'll make so, no sense. You had this child. You were homeless, right? You yeah, had no place to go? I was homeless go? for six months with my son. It's I'm okay. sorry. I didn't want to. I almost went with nothing for my son. Now I'm doing so well Time to the point to where to I don't even care right. about him. I love him, and I just want him to be there for his son. That's it. Just meet him. That's all. I want. Just meet him at least. Just stop him. So well, you I'm just want to prove to him that you're the father and to take care of your son. Exactly. You have to. If you're not to. gonna take care of him, let us you know. You have to take care Everybody, of your boy. Everybody, it's time to meet Eric. Here's Eric. Eric, come on out. Eric, 
Why are you convinced he's not your son? Well, first of all, it was foster care, okay? I was young, dumb, and stupid, 17, like all kids, okay? But friends came up to me after we had did what we did and told me that they also slept with her. I told you you were my baby daddy. Then why would they tell me that they slept with you? And who they were not gonna lie. We were in foster now. care, we never had sex. You know how many lies go around in foster care? Don't nobody believe that stuff? No, I believe it. Why would you tell your friends in foster care that, that your mom was deceased? Because at the time, going through so much as I did and Kind of the main reason I was in foster care because she lost me. And yes, I was very hateful for her at the time, and to me, she was dead. I see. Okay. That's that's now, stuff. I would never were you, say, were, I would never were you all in a relationship dead. or just sleep? No, sleeping? no, we it was a one-time thing. It I had asked her that if to do a relationship, but she flat out told me no. And yes, I was heartbroken, but I did want it, but no, not a serious thing. So you didn't even know she was pregnant? Not until she called me, no. Four years later. Yeah. Big Four surprise. No, that's, that part right there is a lie. Because I got that's into a physical altercation at the group home where I had to be removed, which is why he couldn't see me anymore, because I stayed in the group home up until I was four months. And I told them. And they you knew. still denied it? Everybody knew. I don't remember it going down like that. Everybody I left her at hospital to get. So, you Eric, you think, you, you, think, you think it's one of the other guys in the, in, in, in it can't. the group? Yeah, home. said a person you told me that we both had to take a DNA test right for now. the baby. That is your child. Whatever. You can't deny that. You think look she looks like you? Look at that no. nose. Look at that face. You think he looks look like you? Look at that face. No, not at all. Even when he smiles, huh? he looks like you, Eric. No. Okay, he looks like the other guy. Okay, you look like the other guy. What do you think about your mom siding with her? Kind of hurt, you know. I'm sorry, it's Eric. unbelievable to me because she has to never talked to Shalonda until now. But then wants to believe as soon as it because she wants a grandchild so bad she'll do anything to have it. I want anything that's my blood to be with me. But it's not your blood. No, it's not. I'm trying to know. It's not your blood. I'm trying to know with that little boy. Exactly. I'm trying to know with him over the phone. I had, I, I didn't need Maury to find out about that. Even I was gonna go to her house and live with her with that child, not even having a DNA test. Right. We huh? to move to her town? I was yeah, going to move in with her a month ago when I found without out. Without a DNA test? Without a DNA, I'm ready to be jump in his arms and be a, if he doesn't have We're going to gonna find out right now. <laughs> Ooh. I think I would want some proof before I'd make that move. But I couldn't because exactly. my love was so deep for that little boy. I mean, just look at him. If this child is yours, you'd be in this child's of life. Of course. All right. When it comes to four-year-old Jordan, Eric, you are not the father. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Oh, I'm Come on now, that is not my child. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Maribel. I'm so sorry. I really thought. I told you, you got all that heartache for nothing. Oh, God, man. I'm sorry. Don't get on her, okay? I know, but that's why I hated, because she filled her head with the lies, and now okay. that she's heartbroken. Okay. Maribel. I'm Maribel. Sorry. I really, really, really thought he Maribel. was. Maribel. Maribel. Okay. I'm still going to be in his life. I don't care what anybody well, says. That was the only. I don't care what anybody says. I'm still gonna be in his life. I'm still okay, gonna be fine. there for him. Right, and I'm gonna be there for him. I don't care if he's not my blood. Okay, okay. You are not the father. <laughs>